So <clears throat> our opponents, Amy and Ashley, have both said that the U.S. trades with several other countries, that we need to share success with other countries, and that we've also helped the other countries out of the worst economic conditions. But in this case, the NAFTA case, the United States is only there to take care of itself. Um, more, more specifically, it is what, in, the, in, the, in the example that they have helped Mexico out of the worst economic condition, what they've actually done is help the large corporations succeed in times of need. Not the small businesses, not the small farmers, uh, not, the, not the people themselves, but the corporations that will help the U.S. to maximize the U.S.'s pro uh, profit. So, and then, uh, according to industry market trend, over 1.3 million farm jobs have been lost since 1994. How can that be when the U.S. supposedly helped the help of Mexico during its worst economic conditions? It hasn't. Here are the facts. Currently, the trade trade deficits are currently are constantly increasing. Jobs are being lost on both sides. People have to go get retraining. Um, they're always looking. They don't know whether they're going to have a job a week, a month, a year from now in that sector. And the environment is only getting worse. There's an easy switch that my partner recommended in his first affirmative uh, speech, and that is the European Union. The United States should follow that, their suit. The European Union consists uh, currently successfully imports and exports enough to have a higher GDP than the U.S. They have over 24 different member states in their, in, within the European Union, 15 of which have the same currency. Another issue within the three different countries. So by following their suit, the U.S. can also safely come out of, the, come out of NAFTA without creating any serious harm to either of the three countries. Lastly, the opposition has given many sources from, but out of Almost all of their sources have been come from government websites or government officials. We have, whereas we have provided information from a myriad of over 13 different verified sources. In, in response to Ashley's claim that I said I got my information from about, about .com, I also got my information from the U.S. economy. The same, they both, both of them have the same information. So it is easy for a government website to be one-sided and optimistic about their program, which, which is, which, it is their program. So finally, we believe that the disadvantages of NAFTA are higher than that of the advantages.